How's it going, guys? And welcome back to another JHR review. Today, we're going to be looking at these BW GH1 headphones by Blitzwolf. Now, these were sent to me by Banggood, and I'll have these in the link in the description below. Let's go ahead and turn this around and look at the packaging. It says the model number right there. And the package did come a little beat up. It took a while to come in, but I think that uh, just the shipping from UPS, they did not treat it very well. Go to this side. So it doesn't have much information about it on the front or the bottom, but let's go ahead and open it up. But like I said, I'll have it in the link in the description so that you can see all of the specifications. But without further ado, let's open the box and see what these guys look like. I'm gonna go ahead and just use some scissors right here to cut the sticker. There we go. And then we'll just pull this little latch out of here. There we go. And slide this out. And pull these to the side. Though this part's kind of breaking off, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and slide them out. And adjust the camera. Ooh, whoa. These are a lot more metallic than I thought they'd be. All right, so we pulled them out. We got some instruction booklets. And then it comes wrapped in some plastic. So let's go ahead and take that off. Looks like there's a cardboard insert, so we're gonna have to push up first. Or maybe not. Oh no, the wire's in the back. Let's do that first. Around the back side, actually. There we go. And then we have the cable that's attached to it. It's kind of interesting. It's braided, but it's like a kind of like, let's see if we can focus in on it. There we go. Kind of reminds me of snakeskin. It has like a metal kind of wire mesh underneath this kind of thick plastic wire. Really interesting. It looks as though this runs right off USB, so that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and set that down. Slide this plastic off here. There we go. Looks like we got some dust. I'll use my air compressor. There we go. Look at these guys. This is interesting. Kind of reminds me of like studio headphones. They have that kind of classic, kind of wiry kind of thing at the top. And then this right here too. Look at that. What? If we focus in right there. These, that's like actual like metal wire do you see that that is crazy that's actual metal wire wow that's actually pretty high quality right there and it like stretches too when you pull on it kind of like a pulley system that's really cool if we turn it around we can get a good look at the logo right here it says Blitzwolf, and I believe they also make those wireless headphones too. Comes with an adjustable microphone. There's a little cap on it, I believe. Probably can pop that off. Well, actually, no, that's uh, an LED light, probably. Has a nice wire mesh right here. We focus in. Very nice. And then they are reasonably springy has a pretty thick pad I don't know if you can see that decently soft standard fabric on the inside and they're not too heavy but they do look very uh, very high quality um, they do feel a little light but um, 
I guess it's, it's not a big deal. It's actually probably beneficial. But let's go ahead and plug these in and do a sound test and see how it sounds compared to some of the other ones I've reviewed. I will be right back. All right, I went ahead and plugged these in and I actually didn't realize these are RGB. Look at that. That is so cool. And I was right, this does light up as well. That is so cool. I love RGB stuff. Let's go ahead and turn the light down a little bit and see if we can get a better look. Look at that. That is so cool. Such a nice kind of slow fade too. It'll actually match my Razer keyboard pretty well. What do you guys think about that? Pretty neat. The other side glows too, as you can see. Yeah, that is so aesthetically pleasing. Let's go ahead and do the audio test now. As always, I'm going to go ahead and listen first, kind of get a good range of, you know, the bass and the treble, and then I'll go ahead and put the music right next to the microphone so you guys can kind of get a gauge for it as well. First thing I noticed is they're reasonably comfortable. Not too bad at all. I'm going to go ahead and press play on some music. So the music quality is not bad, and the volume is really good. A little bassy, um, but it's a decent balance. I'd say I'd give it around a 7, maybe 6.5 out of 10 from some of the other ones I've tried out. There's one thing that bothers me about these ones though, and that is the fact that it doesn't look like you can adjust them up and down. It's based on this pulley system and I felt like they were sliding a little bit too far down my head. I tried adjusting these and pulling on them, but I don't think that they actually move. I could be wrong, but it seems like they're pretty stuck on there. And I don't really see any way to adjust how much this pulls up. But I could be wrong, and I'll look at that later. But uh, they sound pretty good, so I'm going to go ahead and put this up to the microphone so you guys can hear as well. was the audio test. What do you guys think? Do you think that uh, these are a decent pair of headphones? I think that if I had the, you know, way to adjust the band up here, or at least uh, easily, I'm not sure still whether it can be, but it doesn't look like it. Um, it would be, you know, a higher number for me. But I think the RGB and the sound quality is it's pretty great. I'd say that these are about the quality of around a 60 to $80 pair of headphones at like GameStop or something like that. I think that they'd be really good for like some PC gaming and whatnot, maybe Discord. Uh, yeah. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, a huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.